Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am testing out the super popular etching on tumblers using citrus strip. Adrian over at M2C1 Designs came up with this amazing idea. Go give her a follow. I will put all of her info in my description box. I'm so excited to finally test this out. I'm using an Ozark Trail tumbler. I am going to use my Cricut to make a stencil and apply the paint stripper citrus strip over it to remove the powder coating. First, I'll show you in Design Space how I put this together. I'm going to upload my SVG. I bought this SVG off of Etsy and I can link it down below if you are interested in it. Now I need to size it. I am gonna make it 3.5 inches for my width. And I'll just let it automatically adjust for the height, which is almost two inches. Looking over in the layers panel, there are two layers, so this needs to be attached. So I am just going to select in the layers panel here and select attach. Now I'm ready to click on make it. Since this is a stencil, I always like to bring this down. I like to have vinyl around all the edges, which gives it a little bit more room for whatever I'm putting on that stencil. So I bring it about an inch down and about an inch over. Now I'll hit continue. I'm using Oracle 6x1 vinyl, so I am going to select vinyl for my setting. I place my vinyl on my mat and have the Cricut cut out the design. Like I said, I'm using Oracle 651 vinyl. This is a permanent vinyl. I definitely recommend a good quality permanent vinyl to use for your stencil. It'll just help to get those crisp lines. When I cut around the vinyl, I make sure to leave some room on each side of the design. When weeding your design, you want to do the opposite of what you normally do. You want to weed the actual design because we're using this as a stencil. If you've been watching my channel lately, I've been super into these like retro designs, but I also chose this because the letters are not as intricate. I feel like that helps to get a little bit crisper lines as well. When adding the transfer tape, you want to place it over the entire vinyl sheet. Then I just use my squeegee tool to scrape the front and the back so that the vinyl will stick to the transfer paper. And then I just remove the backing of the vinyl so that it's all attached to the transfer paper. The squeegee tool has a couple grooves in it and it works perfectly to place my tumbler on top of. This next step will also help with getting crisp lines. I recommend using rubbing alcohol to clean the surface of the tumbler where your design is going to be. This helps the vinyl adhere really well to the tumbler. Now I'm ready to add my vinyl. I line it up on the tumbler, then press down the vinyl really well. I make sure that the vinyl is laying flat with no air bubbles in the letters. Then I remove my transfer tape. Then I rub my finger around the edge of the entire design and that just makes sure that it's flat and it also will just help get those crisp lines. Here's the citrus strip stripping gel. I bought this at Walmart. I looked on Amazon and it was totally out of stock, probably because this is very popular with crafters right now. I'll leave some links down in the description box for where you can find this. It says no harsh fumes on the front, but if you turn it around and read the back, it does recommend shaking it really well before using it, so you can see me doing that here. And it also recommends wearing chemical resistant gloves and goggles. So I picked these up for this project. I definitely recommend wearing something like these, and it does say to ventilate your space, so I did open up my windows while I was working on this. These gloves definitely aren't aesthetically pleasing for this video, but we'll just go with it. And now I'm just pouring a little bit of this into a container. I definitely recommend putting painter's tape around the vinyl. Even though I left extra space around the design with the vinyl, this citrus strip can run a little bit. So this just makes sure that you don't get any of it on the other parts of the tumbler that you don't want to be removed. 
Now I'm ready to add my citrus strip. I am using a foam brush, but you can use a paint brush as well. Either one works. I personally prefer the foam brush, but while you're applying it, you want to do brush strokes all different directions, going up and down, side to side, and you wanna make sure you cover the entire thing. I actually recommend putting a little more citrus strip on than what I am doing in the video. You kind of want to glob it on there. And as you can see on the left side, I put more on where the G and the V is. So I wish I would have done that on the whole thing. After I had the citrus strip on, I let it sit for one hour. You can see it started to drip down. So I'm glad I added that painter's tape there. So after an hour, I started using my weeding tool to see if that powder coating was coming off. The D, it just wasn't coming off very easily. Over on the V, it was, and it had a little more of that citrus strip on top of it. So I decided to add a little more on the right side of the tumbler, and I let that sit for about half an hour. I was pretty impatient. I didn't want to sit, let it sit for a whole nother hour. So overall, I would recommend putting a decent amount of citrus strip on it, and I would recommend probably having it sit for about an hour and a half. Now I'm ready to remove it. I take a paper towel and remove as much of the citrus strip as I can. Now I'm ready to remove that powder coating. I take it to my utility sink in my laundry room and run it under water and use a sponge to start rubbing at it. It was taking quite a bit of elbow grease to remove this, so I ended up taking my scraper tool and scraping a little bit of each letter. That just kind of helped get it started and gave the sponge something to grip to to start removing more of it. I ran the sponge over it some more, then I decided to just take off the vinyl and painter's tape to just make it a little bit easier to try to remove that powder coating. If you've made these before and have any ideas of how to remove this a little bit easier, please let us know in the comments. Later I read that um, Magic Eraser works really well. I did not try that, so you could always give it a try. I started scrubbing at it with a wet washcloth and to me that worked a little bit better than the sponge. I also want to mention that I've seen some people using a different method for this that is faster by placing aluminum foil over the citrus strip and running a heat gun over it. It cuts the time down from an hour and a half to I think 10 minutes, but I wouldn't recommend it personally. Citrus strip is flammable and heating adhesive vinyl, which is what the stencil is made out of, can emit fumes. So if you do choose to do it, I would definitely recommend wearing a respirator mask. I'm slowly chipping away at this here. After I run the washcloth and get quite a bit of it off, the edges needed quite a bit of work. So I grabbed my weeding tool and I started scraping up at the edges. At first I was a little nervous to do this, but you have to do this. It works. You just scrape away at it. I started using my fingernail, which helped a little bit too. So it might look like there's not clean lines, but the powder coating is still stuck down on here. So you just have to work at it to remove all of that powder coating. Like I said, using my fingernail kind of helps to scrape away at it and the scraper tool. When you're using the scraper tool, you just have to be careful that you are removing the powder coating and not scraping up the actual tumbler. I basically follow that same process that I'm doing with the V here with the edge of every single letter. I didn't film the whole thing because it'd be pretty boring to watch, but you can see how much it's cleaned off and it's looking awesome. I used a toothpick to finish cleaning up the edges because some of the powder coating was still kind of stuck down there. I do think if I would have put on quite a bit more of that citrus strip, it would have been easier to remove.
here's how the tumbler turned out. This is seriously so cool. It's permanent. I believe it can go in the dishwasher if the tumbler can go in the dishwasher. Sorry about the lighting. I was trying to get the lighting to work where you could see it the best. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would also love it if you subscribed if you are new to my channel.